But if you close your eyes What's going on guys? Engineer Mike here with a new video and we're going to be talking about Rise of Iron and the PvP changes that are going to be coming in this brand new expansion from Bungie and uh, Bungie dropped a bomb the other day talking about well not really talking about a feature that they are going to be holding on to they're going to keep under wraps for a little while longer that leads me to believe it's going to be one of two things and we're going to talk about both of those things first custom matches second an in-game clan feature so we're going to start out with custom matches and uh, what I would like to see in custom matches that I really think would take this game to the next level in terms of competitive PvP play. So, with custom matches, when I think of a custom match, I think of full customization over, over your match, your game mode, what types of weapons you can use, what you can do inside the match, uh, and what I would like to see in custom matches on Destiny. And I don't think I'm the only one who would like to see these things. But uh, I would like to see the ability to turn off heavy, to turn off supers, to turn off special, and not necessarily just to turn them off all the time, but just a toggle for these things. Maybe um, maybe play a match with, with no supers and no heavy, and but you can use anything else you want. Or maybe you want to play a match where where it's primaries only and you can't use anything else other than primaries. Or maybe you want to play a match that is primaries only but it's it's pulse rifles only or scouts only or scouts and pulses only. Maybe you want to do a match that is snipers only. Maybe you want to do a match that's heavy only. Um, I don't know but you get, you get my point. I would love to see a toggle button um, for everything there is in Destiny. And I, I, I honestly, I think that alone would take this game and really put it on the competitive scene. I get frustrated sometimes when I'm playing. Uh, I, you know, I like using supers. I like using heavy. But I don't use them all the time, and I don't rely on them. And I get frustrated sometimes when I play a match on Destiny. I feel like I get supered ev like almost every, every death, or I get killed by heavy every death. I know I'm not the only one who's experienced this, but uh, say heavy comes around and somebody picks up heavy and you got a guy that picks it up that holds on to it and just camps in the back of the map the whole time. And uh, he literally has heavy for about three minutes and you'll, you'll probably get killed by heavy six times off of one heavy drop. And it's like, wow, what the heck? This is ridiculous. Or you get supered and supered and supered time and time again. And just people keep generating supers, and it's it's basically a super fest and a heavy fest. That's happened to me plenty of matches, and I know those things are fun to use, and obviously they're going to stay in the game. But I would just love the ability to be able to, to play a match and, and maybe play a competitive match without there being any supers or without there being any heavy. So uh, that's just an idea that I had for custom matches, and um, I've talked about it on stream. If you watch the stream, I've talked about this. And uh, another thing, shotguns. I know, I know a lot of people love shotguns, but others can get really perturbed over, over getting killed by a shotgun a ton. So maybe play a match with no shotguns. But yeah, those are just some ideas that I had for custom matches. Um, obviously, you could select your map rotation, um, how many people you want to be in the match, if that even matters, whether you want to do a 3v3, 4v4. But yeah, setting your custom map rotation, that way you don't have to go out and create a new match for each game. Um, I really think that that it would just boost the competitive scene. You'd probably be seeing tournaments every weekend on Twitch and uh, some tournaments popping up on YouTube and, and all kinds of different things. Money tournaments, I mean, all, all sorts of competitive play on Destiny. I mean... I don't know if MLG would ever pick the game up, but I certainly think that it would be a step in the right direction uh, for MLG and in any other type of competitive play. So that's that's my take on the custom matches, just full customization over over a multitude of uh, of things and and what.
what you can use in, in the types of game modes that you're going to be playing. Now, the second thing that I was going to talk about was the in-game clan functionality. I've also talked about this on stream. Now, it could be this. I think it's more, I think it's leaning towards being custom matches more. But uh, we'll talk about in-game clan functionality because this is something that, that Destiny players have been wanting for a while as well. So, in-game clan functionality. I've played games in the past like SOCOM, um, I think Resistance Fall of Man. I don't know if, if anybody has ever played that game, but in Resistance had a in-game clan function. So, Destiny gets one. Let's say that Destiny gets one. So, you're going to be able to access your clan in, in one of the in-game menus. Maybe they add an all-new menu altogether, but I think it'd be cool if you could see the people that are in your clan for that platform, so say PS4, Xbox One, you're only seeing people that are in your clan or group that are on your console, that have it as their main, and um, and what you could do inside this clan functionality is set up matches against other clans. So you could do 3v3s, 4v4s, 5v5, 6v6, maybe even doubles if you wanted, and uh, your, your records against these teams that you go up against are kept as an overall for each individual game mode and maybe as an overall record overall for all game modes and there are leaderboards it'd be cool if there was a uh, clan leaderboard that was in game that everybody could see so you could see what the top clan was in the world uh, for each game mode and overall i think that would be really neat i don't know how you would you'd go about ranking i don't think that necessarily ranking ranking teams based on how many wins they have would be would be fair but uh but that's just my idea on that i really think that it you know an in-game clan feature is kind of limited um as to what it could have i'm only i'm only and you guys can leave comments in the video below or in the comments below the video you let me know what you guys would would think about what Bungie could add into an in-game clan feature. That's all I've been able to think about in regards to that. I definitely think that custom matches would, would give the community a lot more to do. I think that the community would want that more so than an in-game clan feature because I don't see the in-game clan feature as a necessity, but I, I know it's something that people have been clamoring about for a while. But those are the two things that I wanted to talk about. Let me know your ideas in the comments. And uh, I'd love to hear from you all. Make sure you check out the stream. I'm pretty much live every night. Some nights I, I take off, but I'll let you know in the Discord or on Twitter. Make sure you follow on Twitter. Make sure you join the Discord uh, voice chat app. It's awesome. You can get it on your phone or your computer. We're partnered on there, so we got a really nice server and uh, some custom emotes that you can use in there. So make sure you check all those out. I'll leave links in the video below or in the, in the description below. Man, I'm struggling here. But uh, I will see you all later. Thank you so much for uh, checking out the video. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. We got in. Peace, everybody. Efforts like that, and we might just win this.